Hi, my name is Adrian Andrus and I'm a senior at Mount Shasta High School. I have four older sisters and one younger brother. I love to play sports, sing, dance, draw, cook, and hike and swim in our beautiful lakes and rivers near Mount Shasta. I work for Lakes Askew Camp Resort as a reservation agent where I love to share the wonderful place that I live with visitors. I am proud to share with them tips of great hikes, campsites, and places to swim near Mount Shasta and nearby locations. I also have worked for Mount Shasta Park and Rec where I loved working with children to teach them basketball skills, sportsmanship, and coaching their youth teams. I've applied to several schools but will most likely attend school in Utah this fall at either BYU or Snow College. I haven't decided on a major, however, I'm interested in pursuing a degree in early education or healthcare such as nursing. Being part of student leadership for the past three years has taught me the importance of working as a team to achieve goals and make our school the best that it can be. As a sophomore, I took the position of assistant activities director and worked alongside my classmates to create fun activities that included everyone in our school. My junior year, I decided to take a larger role in leadership as the commissioner of athletics. Sports have been a huge part of my high school career and I was excited to take this opportunity. I communicated with sports teams, planned events, and reported stats which were included in the weekly announcements on YouTube. This year, I have been happy to serve as senior class vice president. My main role this year is to help keep my class up to date with all the deadlines of senior year, plan events, plan graduation, and other activities. I am currently Interact Vice President and have participated in the service club for almost four years. We have organized and participated in activities such as trash pickups, fun community festivals, and helping out at the Humane Society. Also, I have loved to have the opportunity to serve with my church group doing tasks such as visiting widows, helping with yard work, and stacking wood. I love to work with these various groups because it gives me a sense of purpose, helps me to develop close friendships, and it's a lot of fun. For my essay, I chose to focus on ways Grange Co-op can reach out to youth in my community. Upon doing some research, I found that Grange Co-op began 87 years ago when 99 farmers from the Rogue Valley each pitched in $10 to help bring in fuel for their farms. Now it is a multi-million dollar business that provides many services throughout Oregon and Northern California. It is amazing to me to see how a few people working together can bring about such a valuable asset to our area over time. Grange Co-op provides employment, services, and outreach to our communities in many ways. This is why I think that it is important that youth are made aware of the good that comes from cooperatives. I think that would be a good idea to reach out to youth within our schools. I am currently in an economics class and it would be great to learn about cooperatives. I would love to hear from a guest speaker from Grange Co-op who could tell us about the business and its success. Also, an essay contest asking students to learn and write about co-ops would motivate them and be a great learning project. Another idea is to have Grange Co-op scholarship recipients be asked to give a presentation about cooperatives to their fellow students during an economic, debate, or business class. I'm not aware of any type of agricultural classes available at Mount Shasta High School. It would be great if students interested in agriculture, ranching, or just basic animal care and hobby farming could have a chance to learn more either through guest speakers or sponsoring an information day at our school. This could be quite successful at Mount Shasta High School and would fill a void. Obviously, the best way to reach out to youth is through social media. You could start a Grange Co-op Youth Challenge. Youth could work together in a fulfilling goal that could help their community. Ideas, progress, and outcomes could be shared on social media. For example, my friends and I have a plan to help with the stray cat overpopulation in Dunsmere. We realized this must be solved through a community effort, so we contacted Mount, the Mount Shasta Humane Society, and they agreed to neuter and spay the stray kittens for free. This plan needs cooperation between quite a few groups of people and shows how working together is so beneficial, especially for small rural communities. Participating in community ventures is very rewarding and should be incentive enough, but it wouldn't hurt to help motivate youth by offering a prize or acknowledgement on social media for successful projects. I appreciate all that Grange Co-op does for our communities. Thank you for the opportunity to learn more about cooperatives, for the generous scholarships that you offer, and for caring for others and investing in the youth.